Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It is 24th of April 2021 and we have a brand new free mod for DCS. It's the T-45C Goshawk. This is a US naval training aircraft. This is a very important free mod because it's high fidelity, just like if you bought one of the official modules. There are not many of these high fidelity mods for free in DCS, and so it makes this very special. So let's get started. First of all, the download link. This is the download link that we've got working at the moment. It's extremely likely that this is going to change, and I will try to keep this updated. Please find this link in the video description that you're watching. We're going to go here, and we're going to click download. Once it's downloaded, please check your downloads area here. You will have this zip file which you can just double click on all you're going to do then is right click copy that file there this is how I do it anyway then you're going to find your saved games area for me it's on C drive and yours probably will be too so C drive users your particular user saved games then you will either have DCS or DCS open beta for me it's open beta and I'm on version 2.7 in there if you do not have the mods folder please create it exactly like that in there make sure you've got the aircraft folder and you'll create it if you have to then right click paste and you can see i've already done it next let's start up dcs this is version 2.7 open beta in your main screen you can check that the mod is installed correctly by cycling through your modules here and it will appear as a module and there he is t45 next we are going to set up our controls so for main menu let's go here then let's go to controls select your aircraft here for t45 in case this is your free in case this is your first mod and there's a good chance it is because this is free and available to everyone a very quick look you've got hundreds of controls if you scroll down here don't worry the vast majority you will never use or change if we scroll along here you've got keyboard assignments then you've got your joystick assignment yours may be a different order i've got another joystick assignment i've got a throttle quadrant assignment and i've got a rudder assignment i've also got track ir and mouse which have no relevance today First thing to do is to go to axes commands. Now, in some cases, it will have a guess if you haven't set these up at the commands and almost certainly get them wrong. If that's the case, then for all of your HOTAS and your rudder, I suggest clicking here and going clear category. So we start from fresh, okay? I've set mine up and I'll show you what I've set. So in axes controls, zoom view, I've set on my throttle quadrant as a axis to zoom in, zoom out in the cockpit. Next. For my wheel brake left and wheel brake right, I've set as axes on my rudder pedals here, which have toe brake feature. If you don't have rudder pedals, that's okay. You can set them somewhere on your HOTAS if you like under the non-axis section. Next, thrust. I've obviously set as thrust throttle lever in my throttle quadrant. Next, rudder. I've obviously set as my rudder, main rudder axis. Roll, left and right on the joystick, pitch forwards and backwards on the joystick. And that's all I'm gonna use in here. Next, let's just take this in a logical fashion, group by group. So categories or groups here. Let's go to the bottom and go to the top. I prefer working bottom to top. Very simply, all I've bound here is guns. The keyboard is all set automatically. So we'll just leave that unless I tell you otherwise. Guns, just set for the trigger on your joystick. And weapon release set as, you know, the second trigger or weapon release button on your joystick. Master arm you don't need, just some weapons you don't need. Next, we're going to go to view. And it's always good to have a backup kind of binary view button if you can. I've got zoom in and zoom out slow here. And I've got it on my uh, throttle uh, quadrant here. Just a button forwards and backwards. Next, throttle grip. I'm going to need quite a lot of these. Again, I'm a bit backwards, so I like starting at the bottom. Throttle finger lift. You will need that to be able to cage and uncage the throttle lever in the aircraft. So I've just set it as uh, one of the switches on my uh, left throttle quadrant speed brake it's got aft center and forward i haven't actually found the need for center yet uh, in dcs so i've just got aft and forward it's against a two-way switch that i use for all of my aircraft in dcs on my throttle quadrant next we've got the comms intercom com one and com two you can bind them to your uh, hotas if you want i haven't found a need for that yet so i'm just leaving it as the keys but you may want to change that next gas turbine starter button which is on the throttle grip and we're going to bind and i've just bound it as a, a, a spare switch if you like that i've got on my throttle quadrant next exterior lights master on the particular wing wing for all that i've got i've got forwards uh sorry you know what i'm saying i've got forwards backwards and aft uh three position switch and you guys can go and bind that or uh, bind it through your keyboard if you want next category 
systems. So wheel brakes, we have the options to have a more kind of binary wheel, wheel brake rather than an axis, and you can put that on your Hodes if you want. We've got here for the kind of high gain nose wheel steering that you may need on a carrier, and I've got the typical nose wheel steering button here on the front of my control stick on my Hotest that I'm going to use. Landing gear up and down, I'd suggest just keeping that as the G key, uh, but it's up to you. Flaps, we've got five different options we can use here. I found it fine just to bind two, which is the increment down and increment up, and this will allow us all of the different positions for the flaps that we will need. And I've just bound them to a up and down switch on the side of my throttle lever. Engine start switch we're not going to need. Eject will leave, canopy open will leave. Cage on cage, I have added that to my typical cage on cage button on the side of my throttle lever. Battery switch we won't need. That, then we'll go to the next. Simplifications, no. MFD, no. Multi crew, we don't need to change, but so you know, one and two changes the seats, and you can request permission from the other guy. Remember, this is a multi crew aircraft. You can have two humans in it. Left MFD, no. Labels, no. Kneeboard, no. General, no. Flight control, let's just make sure we're got everything done here you will need trim up down left and right and i've bound it on a four-way switch on my uh, on the top of my control stick and that i think is going to be everything debug no communications no carrier no but uh, we can have a good look here you for carrier hookup uh, we've got uh, launch bar extend retract there pilot salute i've changed that from left control left shift plus s to just s as well it's much easier just to remember to press s for salute than all that so i'll suggest that and tail hook is by default h that's that assist snow and we've done everything and that is goshawk set up and ready to go i hope that was useful and see you later